Well, hello, y'all. This is Brother Lee Whaley here at Crusader for Christ Podcast Hour. I hope y'all are doing great today. Uh, if it looks a little different in here, it's because it is. Uh, as some of you might know and some of you don't know and some of you are fixing to know, the time has come and we need a huge, huge prayer. Uh, as all of y'all know, um, my mother-in-law, Clara Wilson, bless her heart, went on to be with the Lord in April of this year. And um, and because of that, you know, it's time that we're going to have to um, we're going to have to move. And so we, you know, it's, we're in the process of that. Bless her heart, she's having to pack all the stuff up and a lot of things moving. There's 50 years of stuff here, so you know how that can be. But anyway, so we're having to get ready. The reason this is all changing is because I've got to tear this thing down. We got to get it all packed up. But I'm going to try to keep doing some podcasting until we move, and then where we move, <laughs> hope they got the internet. Looking to move out towards West Georgia or East Alabama, something like that. So please pray for us. If you know somebody that's got a house and want to sell by owner or rent by owner, we may have to, we don't know what exactly we're going to have to do yet. We don't know what we're going to have to do, but we know we got to do it. So with that said, I want to ask y'all to pray for us, and and I want to give you a, I want to give you a word of encouragement. That's what I'm here to do today. I'm giving you a word of encouragement. A lot of people through the years, especially in the jail ministry, one of my favorite verses in all the whole Bible, and there's several of them, so I mean, it's not my favorite favorite, but it's my favorite favorite favorite, favorite is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. All of you probably know it by heart, but here we go. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your pathways. And man, I believe that with all my heart. I believe it so strongly. I believe it so sincerely that I really, I'm not worried about a thing. I mean, it's a lot of stuff's got to happen. I mean, we're fixing to start a whole nother life and uh, somewhere else. And only God knows where it's at. Get on your camel and move, said uh, God to Abraham. Get out of the land of Ur of the Chaldeans and I'll show you. So, we're kind of in the land of the Ur of the Chaldeans here. But pray that everything is, that everything will just go smooth and good in the family. Um, we've got a lot, a lot to go through. And uh, a lot of things got to happen. But I know God's got it in control. And I really do. And I want to thank you all for all the prayers over the, over the years and for supporting my podcast. I really want to get back at it. But, man, right now we're just so busy doing things. And my head is just not where it needs to be as far as where it needs to be. It needs to be. Anyway, that won't cost you nothing. But you know I love you. And I know that uh, the world <laughs> ain't, going, ain't going real great. But you know what? If you're a Christian today and been born again and saved by the grace of God, you know that all things are working together for the good. Romans 8, 28, 29. One of my favorite verses. Romans 8, 28, 29, 30. For we do know that all things work together for the good to them that love God, who are the called, who are the called, let me repeat that one more time, who are the called according to his purpose, and whom he foreknew those he did predestinate, that they might be conformed to the image of his Son, that we might be the firstborn among many brethren. And my prayer and my hope is now for the rest of my life that I can do what God wants me to do, where he wants me to do it, and be what he wants me to be. That's my prayer. And, of course, Annette, she's my wife. I love her, my kids, all of them. But God's business is the most important thing in my life right now. And um, I'm looking forward to the next journey. Amen. And uh, you keep praying for us. And I'm going to ask you to to uh, pray for my family. Everybody's kind of looking for us a place to live. So if you do know somebody or know somewhere, you know, get a hold of me on Facebook or something. I don't know. You know, somebody in the family, call them. But uh, we're excited. I mean, it's kind of a nervous excitement, but you know, it's part of it. And uh, to be starting over at 68, what a blessing. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Only in America. Speaking of America, how many of y'all have been praying for our country, for our president? Bless his heart. <laughs> we need to be praying for these people. They're in pitiful, pitiful shape. But the end of time said that's the way things are going to be. I really believe we're in the end of times, the end of days. I don't want to talk a whole, about, a whole lot about that, but you know what I've said all along. Jesus is coming soon. Be ready. Be ready. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead in Christ will rise first. 
And this is the church. This isn't the world. This is the church, the body of Christ, the believers, the blood washed, the sanctified, justified, glorified children of God. That's what we're looking for. We're listening for. Uh, and you know the, old, the the parable about if the strong man had knew who, who was going to come and break in his house, he would have prepared for it. In other words, Jesus comes at such an hour that man thinketh not, but he's coming. I promise you he is coming back. And, uh, and I hope that you're ready to go. In the meantime, I want you to have a great day. Keep praying for us. We're, we're doing I mean, if you can see this house, it's turned upside down because of things. Boxes sitting everywhere. And so, as you can see, I've narrowed it down to this little poster here. But listen, I love you folks. And I want you to keep praying for us. Keep looking after, you know, just keep looking. I'm going to bring my podcast in because I've got a lot on my heart. Uh, especially out of the book of Acts. been studying the book of Acts. So, the book of Acts will tell you exactly what we need to be doing as God's children and how we need to be doing it, prayerfully, faithfully, and consistently. Write that down because I'll forget it. But anyway, love you all. Listen, have a great day. Pray for us, and we'll talk to you real soon here on the Crusade for Christ podcast. Out.